All right, we made it to our first stop. I screwed up, thought I was videotaping. Um, actually, right now, we are in Apple Valley. We are at the Burlington Coat Factory here in the Jess Ranch Shopping Center. So we're about to go in there and check it out, see what we can find. Hopefully, we'll get some good shit. So uh, we'll let you know. We'll show you on the way out. This is Burlington. Uh, it's kind of like a higher class version of Ross. Uh, let me check this thing out. Oh, I'm gonna take check that out. What do you guys think of that? Salute to service. Oh, hey, the Raider fans are gonna be mad. Why are you mixing Pittsburgh stuff with Raiders? Oh. I need to see the price tag on this thing though. Damn, I don't think I'm gonna spend that much. No, 40. I don't think that's worth 40. You guys let me know in the comment section if you think that's worth 40 bucks. This guy's all happy because it's his Rams. Okay, what's the thing? See, these are kind of like Ross. We have it at $14.99, and then it's also got the comp value right there. Let's see if there's a comp value on this one. Well, it says it's 100 bucks comp value. I don't know. We're going to have to look it up. Yeah, it's got 100 on the original tag. I mean, if that's the case, it could possibly be worth it. Let's see. I'm going to do this voice just to be more efficient. Nike Therm Nike Thermo Salute to Service Rams hoodie. Nike Thermo Ram Salute to Service Hoodie. Nothing. Rams Salute to Service Hoodie. There it is. See here it shows 49 and then we go here to filter our search results. Scroll down, just press sold. And back. Yeah, it's not gonna be worth it. They want 40. The comps are showing 46, 48, 57, 65. It's not gonna be worth it. We're over here in the shoe area. Those are kind of clean. The size though is gonna get you. 16 foam. Yeah, and it, they're baseball cleats, right? Mm, they might be football cleats. Yeah, I would verify that they're football cleats. If not, if they're baseball cleats, you're going to be sitting around them for a while because baseball season just ended. And like I said earlier, make sure you always know what time of year it is before you start buying. Look at these lunar cleats. I'm going to have to look them up. I'm going to get these in decide if I'm gonna flip them or not yet. I might keep them for myself. They're just pretty cool looking. Uh, that was there. Alright, this one's gonna be hard to see. Um, on the inside, Nikes, but I'll be right back. I'm gonna look these up. It's kinda hard to do it with one hand. Alright, so I looked them up. They're Vapor Untouchable Speed Turf Football Shoes, though. They're listed right around 70, 80 bucks. Um, once again, we're gonna filter out. Just go to sold listing. So we have one sold for 90 on the 19th of September, and then another one sold for 76.49 on the 25th. Um, that's quite a while ago. They are size 10, and here's another thing to keep in mind, they want 50, 
I don't always listen to those comp values because the comp values say like this one says it's 110 obviously we can see that that's not true I mean it's not that far off but um, I'm gonna hold out because I'm not liking the profit I can get off of that one at 50 to only make a $40 not even 40 it'd be barely be a $30 profit after fees and everything so I'm gonna wait see what else we could find uh, hopefully I can find another pair here show you guys exactly how to look them up I'll show you um, if not check out side hustle pros uh, he's got a great video on that and so does hustler hack I was actually just looking one of those up 80 bucks I know I just looked at I just had the same exact thing but at 50 after $40. not really make closer to 30 That's so funny, dude. I was literally just looking those up and just showed it in the video. I was looking them up. But yeah. Let me see if I can't find a better in your sizes, too. Um, I think generally, like, a I've had the most luck with like between eight and a half and size tens, but sometimes it's good to go on the larger sizes. Let's see. Uh, I'm not really seeing anything good as far as shoes here. One more section to check. I'll use these baseball cleats from Nike. Oh no, the tag's in a bad spot. Damn it. Ooh. Punisher uh, chunkless or flip flops, whatever you want to call them. Let's see if those mercurials cleats are in a better spot and I can show you. As I drop them on the ground. Yeah, I'm just dropping everything today. Anyway, so you'll see down there on the tag. I don't know how well you can see that number, but you'll see where the sizes are. And then underneath where the sizes are, there's a number that says 831 013 All you have to do is put that into your eBay search, and then every listing for those shoes that has that number on there. Um, that'll come up and you'll be able to see your values and everything You'll be able to see what it's selling for and sometimes um, I'll just put the brand with the number so like if it's like Nike I'll just put Nike and then that number and it should come up Got some hats over here All right, I'm gonna continue my search and check in with you guys later all right guys, we just came out of that uh, Burlington Coat Factory finally, after being in there a little over an hour. Uh, really didn't find too much. I got like three uh, Iron Man Nerf gun things. Uh, some Deadpool flip-flops that I'm gonna keep for myself. And then I found a puzzle of Action Comics number one, which if you're a comic book nerd like myself, you know exactly what Action Comics number one is, the first appearance of Superman. It is the most sought after comic book. Uh, they just had a little jigsaw puzzle it was only three dollars so i just grabbed it just because um unfortunately i wasn't able to film anything in the toy department in there i know you saw a little bit of like the shoes and the clothing and everything but um unfortunately the toy department was just way too loud too many kids screaming and crying and the music was playing right there and i didn't want to risk getting another copyright because i've had that happen before at a goodwill with a madonna song i didn't know it was playing in the background and i know you could hear it but uh I'm gonna try my best here at this next one would be a uh, Ross uh, and we're gonna head out to Ross out here it should take us about 10 15 minutes to get there and we'll go in there we'll see what we can find and again we'll probably just check shoes and toys and maybe some sporting good stuff but we'll see you guys when we get there all right we are at our next location uh, we are here up at Dale Evans Park today in Apple Valley California um, we're on the other side of Apple Valley from where we were at Burlington, but we are now at a Ross Dress for Less. Um, I have had some luck at this in the past. I've been able to find some pretty decent shoes and some pretty decent toys. 
Um, when was the last time we were out here? It's been a while. About a month ago, maybe. Has it been that long, a month? Yeah. Yeah. Well, we need to stop letting time slip like that. Although, in our defense, we do have two other Rosses that are fairly close. And a couple of other stores that we hit up that are fairly close to the house, so we don't have to go as far. But we really shouldn't be letting a month go between visits. <laughs> anyway, we're going to head inside right now. Um, sorry about putting my hand in front of the screen, but we're going to see what we can find inside. Talking about the shoes right now. Oh, they got some Steph Curry's right there for 50 These Nikes are 65 Supposedly they pop for 145 But I looked them up before I don't think they pop for that much um, They have a lot of them here too That's the crazy part Yeah, And these Kobe's. Alright, so we are in the toys here. Just my whole toy section. Yeah, so far we got this uh, Tagugli to Madden Team Series. It sells for about 25 bucks and they only want six. So this is a quick little flip. Uh, where is it? It's only worth 20 bucks. Oh, so you can only double your money. You can't scan these because the bar. Yeah. A lot of places started doing that now. Alright, so we just left that Ross. Um, I think we spent maybe a little bit too much time and probably. <laughs> <laughs> a little bit much money? Too much money, yeah. Um, we were in there for roughly an hour. Um, I spent about $88. Got a lot of really cool toys. And a lot that we're going to be able to flip for pretty good money. Um, the best find I think we had is we each got a Cars, like Ramones color changing set or something. Uh, it's Disney Pixar, obviously. Uh, it's from the, the movie... Uh, we got it for, what was it? 15? 15, somewhere around 15, 12 or 15, somewhere in that range. Uh, when we looked it up in the store, uh, we seen two that have sold last month, one for 75 bucks and one for $94. So, um, I mean, with those two items alone, we're going to recoup pretty much everything we spent almost this whole day. Yeah. And then everything else is going to be pure profit. So uh, we're going to go and we're going to stop, grab some lunch, and then we're going to probably find one more store and then head back to the house and get to work on listing these items. Um, one thing first, though, uh, is something Daniel taught me. i got to give him credit for it. Um, when you go into Ross like this and you're looking through all the toys, make sure you dig around. Push stuff out of the way. Look in the very back of the shelving. You never know what you're going to find in there. Yeah, people like to stash stuff back there because they don't have the money for it right now, so the push it way back there and think nobody will look but it's back there you gotta look yep so keep that in mind if you're gonna go check out a ross uh, or a burlington or we might go find uh marshall's later well actually there's a marshall's right next to that ross right yeah. down the street from my house so maybe we'll just hit up those two on the way home uh but whatever we do we're gonna bring you guys along with us so we'll see you at our next stop Alright, we're at our third and final Ross of the day, more than likely. Um, there's a Marshalls next door, but we don't have any plans of going in there yet. Um, so, we're actually at the one down the street from my house. This is Main Street in Hesperia, California. Uh, that's the Ross that we're at right now. Uh, once again, probably just like the other Rosses, well, the other Ross and uh, Burlington Coat Factory we were at earlier, uh, more than likely we're still going to focus on toys and shoes and maybe some um, sports related clothing because they seem to have some NFL stuff um, we forgot to mention it but earlier at the Burlington Coat Factory this morning Daniel picked up a pretty sweet um, CLC Hawks beanie yeah I won't say it's sweet but it's it's a good hat I'm just saying sweet based on the fact that it's gonna make you money <laughs> yeah <laughs> even if it is a sea chicken <laughs> but yeah he picked it up for seven bucks seven dollars it should sell for about 25 
so it's a decent flip so little things like that that you got to keep in your store that you know your little bread and butter items because honestly you're not always going to be getting these big sales making 70 80 to 100 bucks per sale uh generally you'll get like your 15 20 dollar sales 25 dollars i mean it all adds up but just in general you got to keep little things like that anyway with that being said we're gonna head inside now because we're tired of sitting there in the parking lot all right section here um, let's see if you see anything worth actually looking up interesting night piece and then you know, 50 possible 130 dollars mm. Maybe you won't check these out later. Remember these. Under Armors. 25 comparable value at 45. I think we'll look these up too. So let's. I can look at those Under Armors and those new, and these Nike Airs as well. Let's take a look at these. The price isn't too bad. It's 40, I can see that. But that's just for now. I'm going to look them up. Those are crazy. You might want to check them out. They're clearance at 44. The Curry's. Huh? Yeah, I know they're Steph Curry's, but you might want to just check them out. Yeah, you can. Yeah. Was that the um the Halo RC? <laughs> Just knock everything over, dude. You're welcome. Uh, you over here. Well, guys, uh, we finally made it home. Uh, we only went to three Rosses today. Not even. It was two Rosses and a Burlington Coat Factory. Um, I'm actually trying to look this thing up right now. I just I picked it up at the Burlington for $3. Uh, if you don't know what it is, it's Action Comics number one. First appearance of Superman. Uh, it's a jigsaw puzzle, 500 piece. So I just figured I would check it out right now. Uh, it's one of those things I just figured at three bucks I would just take a shot on it and see. And if not, I'm a kind of a comic book nerd myself, so still be something cool to have. We can get this thing to work. I don't know why my thing's doing this lately. There it goes. Not bad. At least what people have it listed for. Eh, I kind of missed out. It's up at uh, it sold for seven fifty. I think I see it with the light on. Yeah, they will. The lights on on your phone. What do you mean? They'll see it. They'll see it just fine. On the September 9th, it sold for seven fifty. Had two bids, so 
I don't know, we'll see. 10, 15 bucks maybe, even though it was only $3. Anyway, this kind of leads into our uh, haul video here at the very end. Um, just wanted to show you guys everything we picked up. Put my phone on charge real quick. Um, I don't know if you can see it or not, but I have a huge pile over here. I went a little bit crazy at the Ross. Um, just making sure I wasn't going to crush anything. Um, where to start first? Well, we'll just stick with the Burlington Coat Factory because that was the first place we went to. Uh, honestly, they really didn't have too much there. Um, uh oh. Oh, that's what that was. I saw a piece of black plastic in the bag and I thought that I broke one of the toys already. Because I'm a genius. Anyway, I picked up three of these. Um. They're the Marvel Avengers Slide Blast Armor Iron Man. It's from Nerf. Figure how can you go wrong with Nerf and Marvel? Um, I got it at 10 bucks. Yeah, the sticker here says comparable value of 13. Sometimes those comparable value stickers lie. Uh, just to be straight and honest with you guys, they lie. I looked this one up. These go for actually about 30 bucks a piece. So I figured uh, at 10 bucks a piece. If I sell one for 30 I get my money back on the three I bought. And then the other $60, because I have two more of these, is all just pure profit. Uh, it's kind of a no-brainer. Um, sorry about the noise. That's it for Burlington. For me, anyway. What'd you get? I don't know. Oh. You got the most stuff. Really? You can wait till I get done with everything? I have a really cool pair of flip flops I bought. There they are. I got these over at the Burlington. Um, they're, I mean, obviously you can tell they're Deadpool flip flops. Um, they were like eight bucks. I'm gonna keep them for myself. Sometimes you gotta treat yourself while you're out there. There's nothing wrong with spending a little bit of money on yourself. Um, which Ross did we go to next? The one Apple Valley. Yeah. Okay. I'm trying to remember what I bought there. All that. Hmm? This one? Yep. Or this one? No, that's Nope, one. that was the last one we were at. Okay. Um, these I've bought in the past. I have two more sitting over there in my inventory. Um, I mean, it's a little... I don't know, kind of on the line of basically for profit, I guess. Uh, it's another $10 item. Uh, the tag's right here. It says $10. And again, the comp says 13, just like on the other one. But these actually sell for about 35 bucks a piece, and I've already sold one for 35, so that's why I grabbed the other three. Um, and again, it's Nerf. You know, you kind of can't go wrong, especially with the In Strike, uh, excuse me, In Strike Elite. So, I mean, this was another no-brainer. 10 bucks, flip it for 35, especially since we're entering Q4 right now. Uh, holiday season's upon us. So, if you watched earlier in the video. I told you we were primarily focusing on toys, which is what we did. Where our primary focus was toys today, because we know coming up near the end of this month and going into uh, November, December, everybody's going to be buying toys for Christmas presents for young kids. So it's pretty much you know an easy no-brainer, as I've said earlier. Just go ahead and start picking up as many toys as possible, get them listed, and you can make some decent profit that way. Um, Let's see. I already have one of these sitting aside. Um, it's only a six dollar purchase. They flip right about twenty five bucks. This is a Todd Gurley Madden seventeen series uh, Ultimate Team series. Um, like I said, this one is six. And again, the comp value says twenty. They actually go for twenty five. Uh, more than likely with Q four with the holiday season, the prices of these will probably go up. Just like with a lot of other toys and stuff, we'll be able to raise the price on them. And make a little bit of extra money on the side. Uh, picked up this little guy for 12 bucks. Um, it's a Nerf, or not Nerf, Hot Wheels. Hot Wheels. Mutant Machines. It's got a slithering action. It's battery operated. Uh, it will need batteries. And again, this one was 12 bucks. The comparable value says 25, but I believe it's closer. Try me. 
There you go. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> that's crazy. Um, I believe this is actually closer to 30 to 35 bucks. Which, I mean, at 12 there's still at least 20 to 25 dollars profit there. A lot of these are all borderline, like, close. I just kind of went with it anyway just to stock everything up. I should still make a really good profit. And, um, I have a one toy in here that once it sells, it's going to recoup the cost of just this one visit to this one store. Um, pick this one up. This one's an $8 toy. It's another Nerf in strike. This sells right around 20, I believe. I think it's 20 or 25. I have two of them in my one in another bag. You'll probably see it later if I forget that I already showed it to you guys. But these are just single shot jolt. It comes with two guns, four darts. Um, like I said, it was like eight dollars. Should sell for right around 20 to 25. Makes a good little Christmas gift. Um, I picked this one up five bucks it's a fast and furious uh the reason i picked this one up is because i have two other ones so i'm just gonna go ahead and update my listing take a picture of the three of these together add uh, the third one into the title and into the description and i should get probably i'm probably gonna ask about 45 bucks for the three of them so that's a 30 dollar profit right there because i'll have them pay for shipping uh, not too bad on a 15 dollar purchase to get a 30 dollar profit that's like tripling my money almost um, and then lastly there, we found this thing. This is a Radiator Springs Classics Disney Pixar Cars Ramones Color Change Gift Pack. Um, what's the price on it? 15 bucks. That's going to be key here in a second. At 15 bucks. Um... And I'm actually going to show you on my phone so you don't think I'm lying. Because these actually go for close to 100 bucks. That's right, I said $100. Um, I was actually pretty surprised too. And I thought this was the only one they had. And then I found a second one and gave it to him. So we can make a profit. Alright, we're going to scan the barcode. Where was the barcode? Let me guess, it's covered, and yours is the one that doesn't have the sticker on it. It just ripped your sticker off. No, nah, technical difficulties while filming. Um, Here, give me your phone. Give me your phone. Huh? I got it. Thank God Ross's price tags come off fairly easy. Um, eh. There we go. I got the tag off now that you guys already saw that it was $15. Um, in there for a second. I'm going to scan it. Come on. Helps if I hold still. There's one listing for 120 right now. And I'm not going to just show you what's listed. Here's the sold. Um, the last one sold for $90 on the 7th of October, which was two days ago. Um, so yeah, so close to $100. bucks. 89 dollars says 90 bucks. So yeah, not bad on a $15 purchase. That's like, like a $75 profit, essentially. So consider this year, be on the lookout, your ball low. If I hold it up right your bolo so we're gonna get these listed today right away as soon as we're done with this video um, ow. beating myself up on my own toys so that was the second one we hit I think that was the second one. Oh, holy could have said something instead of just sitting there all quiet, you know. Jesus, man. It's not your first time on camera. Did I get this one at the second one, too? Yeah. Okay, so this bag is part of the second one. Um, I can't remember. Ah. I'm going to have to scan this one for you guys, too, because I don't remember what the resale is on this one. Um, 
This is a Halo um, vehicle of some sort. It's the Team Red Warthog and Spartan figure. And it's got all the accessories with it. Um, this stuff all detaches and creates a gun right here in the back. Uh, this one went for, I picked it up for $19. And if I'm, if I remember correctly, I believe it sells for right around $50. Um, sounds accurate to me. Let me double check for you guys. Pretty sure it was right around $50, but let me on the safe side here. And it's like, too bad scanning your barcodes is all you see is the barcode numbers and you don't know what item corresponds to each barcode. There we go. So now I can just bring it right back up right away. Let's see. Yeah, um... Well, I should have really looked at the dates. The last time one of these sold was September 8th for $41. And then before that, July 16th, which is going way too far back, sold for fifty seventy seven. So I'm probably still going to ask 50 anyway. And then see what happens um to figure out what the weight what the shipping is gonna be but not bad for 20 bucks a 30 dollar profit if i can get it to sell at 50 so i will take that all day long um so then we stopped off over at the one i showed you guys in the video this was the last one in main street on hesperia in hesperia and we each picked up Millennium Falcons. Um, <laughs> we paid twelve bucks. And what's the thirty? Is it thirty? Sticker says comp is forty. Is the sticker lying? I don't remember. Probably forty. Yeah, I'm thinking with the holidays we could probably jack the price up to forty to forty five with no problem. And again, it's a $12 item. Flip it for 30 It's right there on that borderline. Uh, still, it'll be a you know, decent little profit. And it's going to help build our store's credibility along with our uh, feedback. So, I mean, it's a win-win overall. You're making a little bit of money. You're building a reputation. You're getting that feedback. Mostly all my stuff is the same as his. So. You have a few things that are different. You know, everything's the same. These are I haven't even ones. gotten to that yet. This uh, Nickelodeon um, Ton Jump Garage. Is that what that is? That's Nickelodeon? Mm hmm. I don't know if it's Nickelodeon. Um, what does it go for? Uh, it's 30. Is it 30? And, what do we and then we for? picked up these Ten DC bucks? metal figurines. Yep, we each got a set of those. One is old school. What you say? One is old school. It looks old school with the way that the figures are. But then I looked at it again, and it looks like they all just have different figures in them. Yeah, this Superman has purple. I don't think you'll ever see Superman in purple. I don't know. But this is the thirty-dollar Nickelodeon toy, and uh, the the thing on it says nine dollars. And again, if you look at the comp value, it says only fifteen. Do not go by your comparable values. They're usually off. We've seen a lot of shoes when we were looking at shoes and it said the comp value is 145 and they're only asking 50 and then when you look it up, they're actually only selling for 80 or 90, which cuts your profit drastically. So don't get caught up in that and start wasting your money thinking you're getting a good deal because the comp value tells you you are. That's the way they manipulate you to get you to buy stuff to think you got a good deal. Um, that being said, where I put it? Oh, it's right here. This is going to be your most important tool while you're out there. This is always your most important tool for whoever's getting started. Your phone is going to be your most important tool. Get that eBay app. Um, if you haven't done it before, I know most of you have because you all do the same thing. You're out there, but here I'm going to show you guys. Um, I'm going to be able to do it on that one. And don't make fun of me because I know these aren't selling for very much, but. They were only four bucks a piece. If I put all six of them together that I bought, because I have different ones. I have the Super Ultimate Garage. Um, this one is the Jungle Rally. This one is the Justice League. And I have two more in the bag down here. They're Hot Wheels. 
and I know they're only selling for about three to five bucks a piece well probably five to seven a piece um, but let's see because I'm gonna show you guys okay I'm gonna scan my image or my barcode there we go got the barcode um, that's my Twitter all right so here it comes up on your Twitter on your eBay Okay, and then all the listings, there's only three. There's one up here for eight bucks, eight bucks, well, seven seventy-seven, seven seventy-eight. I rounded up. Um, then what you're gonna do, and go up here to the top left hand corner. Well, on your side, it's the left hand corner, but when you're looking at it on your phone, it's gonna be your top right hand corner where it says filter. You get your filter button, and it's gonna give you options. You scroll up, and you can hit this little button right here where it says sold items. And now that's gonna bring up everything that's sold. You go back, nothing is sold. So, but I'm still gonna do anyway, because like I said, it wasn't really that much of a risk at, what, three, four bucks a pop? So I'm in what, six times four is 24? So I'm in for 24 bucks. So what I'm probably gonna do is throw them all up together for about 45 bucks, 50 bucks, try to double my money. Uh, worst case scenario where you've got all these toys left.